Welcome to this, the first of the slightly more complicated videos on using SQL. Here we're going to look at linking multiple tables. My name's Andy Wicks and in this video we're going to see how you make all the links that you could possibly need. We're going to start by having a look at the ERD for the secondhand bookshop example. And let's suppose that what we wanted was the title, price and category for all the books. So how do we do this? Well, title appears in the title table. That seems quite reasonable. The price appears in the book table. And the category, well, that's in the category table. So how do we link these together? Well, the first thing we need to link is book and title. Then we need to link title and title category. And finally, we need to link title category and category. So what we have here are three links. If you're looking at this in color, they're the three dark green lines. And those three lines need to be replicated in our SQL. So let's move on to the SQL itself. Right, first we're going to select the second-hand bookshop. Then we're going to go to the SQL tab and enter the first version of the SQL command. There are two ways of doing this. This is the easier way. The second way, though, is more versatile. You can do more with it. So this is the first version of the command that will get us what we want. First of all, we select the fields that we want, so title, price and category. And then we say which tables we need. And we need four tables. Although these fields are only coming from three, we need to link all four tables together. We need to link book to title, title to title category, and title category to category. So these are the four tables that we need. Then we need to make the links between them. So what we do is we list the ID fields that are linked. So where T title ID equals B title ID, title ID in the title table to the title ID in the book table, we then link the T title ID to the TC title ID, the title ID in the title table to the title ID in the title category table. And finally, we link title category ID to category ID in the type from the title category table to the category table. Right, let's see this working. And what we get are 1,695 records returned. Well, since there are 715 books, this may be a bit of a surprise. But if you remember, each book can be in several categories. So each book may appear several times. And also some books have the same titles. So we have a slight duplication here. But let's now have a look at the second version of this command. This does exactly the same as the previous command, but it's slightly different. We've selected the same fields, title, price and category, but now the way of joining is different. We're using something called an inner join. Inner joins are more flexible. You have inner joins, outer joins and equi joins. And no, I'm not going to go into all those in this video. What we have to do is start with one of the end tables. So in this case, I'm starting with the book table because that's at one end of the chain. And from bookshop book as B, we're going to inner join that to bookshop title. And we're going to use the title ID fields in both of those to link. The result of that is going to be joined to the bookshop title category using the title IDs again. And finally, the result of that 
is going to be linked to the bookshop category table using the category IDs. But let's go back to that from for a moment. You'll notice it has three opening brackets. It's got one opening bracket for each link for each of those green lines in the ERD. And then at the end of each line there is a bracket. And those brackets signify that it's doing the work each time on that bit of data. This is actually a more efficient command and will get you the results rather more quickly. But it is a little more complicated to understand. OK, let's see what happens when we run this. And it comes back with exactly the same results. In this case, it took 0.0169 seconds. Let's just compare that to how long it takes for the other version. Let's try that. You can see we saved an awful lot of time. 0.0011 of a second by using the more efficient version of the query. Well, I hope that's been of use to you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.